Hello, everyone. Welcome back to GGN. This is part three for this news report today. It's Thursday, February 7th, 2013. All right, the first part I have is um, is weather. Historic snowstorm looms for New England. Two storms could combine tomorrow, bringing winds and two feet of snow. They said it's actually two big winter storms that are bearing down on the northeast. Forecasters are warning they could combine tomorrow to create a potentially historic blizzard, reports USA Today. It's currently crossing the plains and is expected to pick up more moisture from the Great Lakes as it goes east. Then we have heaviest snowfall in a century hits Moscow. It says the heaviest snowfall in a century brought Moscow and the surrounding region to a near standstill and left hundreds of people without power. It says the snowfall is set to continue at least until the end of the week. The authorities are bracing for more chaos on the roads. Says there hasn't been such a winter in 100 years, says Deputy Mayor for Residential Issues. The snow this year has already reached one and a half times the climatic norm. This is followed by anti snow chemicals uh, used in Moscow take 1.3 billion years to dissolve, says a report. The toxic and even radioactive elements have been found in de icing substances used for clearing Moscow streets from snow, according to data gathered by the group of activists. The city authorities deny the allegations. The icing chemicals have never enjoyed public affection in Russia. They are mostly associated with damaged footwear and burned uh, pet paws. However, annoyance turned to anger after a community group for safety on Russian roads announced the result of its investigation. Uh, this de-icing material is made with yellow halite and a substance known by the abbreviation SBG. This uh, halite is described as exceptionally harmful for people in nature. SBG is an electrolyte slime of Solomosk Magnesium Works Industrial Waste, which contains toxic elements. It includes this K40 or Kalium-40, which takes 1.3 billion years to disintegrate and belongs to materials of third-class radioactive danger. It was prohibited for use in Moscow in 2006. Thousands of dead herring wash up in Iceland from the 5th of February. It says a predicament is baffling Iceland, where millions of dollars worth of dead herring have been found in a small fjord. Uh, for the second time in two months. Between 25,000 and 30,000 tons of hearing died in the fjord in western Iceland in December. Some experts believe it was due to a lack of oxygen in the inlet, possibly caused by a landfall and bridge constructed in 2004. A meteorologist said the hearing died from sudden cooling caused by relentless northerly winds. So, you know, Lake Michigan, the Great Lakes, uh, anybody, any body of water is uh, usually used for weather modification and cloud seeding. That's where a lot of the moisture comes from by a body of water or near it. Um, you have two Great Lakes hit record lows on water level. Lake Huron and Michigan continue to drop. They hit their lowest water levels on record. Let's not forget uh, Mississippi River also where barges have actually bottomed out because the uh, water's gotten so low. So the Army Corps of Engineers might reconsider, or yeah, reconsider a long debated proposal to place structures in a river to reduce the flow of water away from the lakes of Huron and Michigan, which are connected. And speaking of weather modification, I saw this and I thought I'd just uh, throw it out there because it's from what? The Weather Channel, right? The Authority on Weather. What punched a hole in these clouds? So it says, it looks as if someone perfectly punched out a hole in the sky. Uh, says of each cloud photo above but obviously we know they were not man uh, made by hand right not man-made not harp circles or scalar squares however you could say that humans do play a role in their development so here's another one and another and another and another so just like the condensation trails and i saw a video of uh of uh, these trails that were that were supposedly of planes that were circling circling above, you know, basically until they could land, which, you know, could uh, be legit. Uh, but everything, they always have some nice little uh, reason for it. And they say these rare cloud formations, which are not that rare, because especially in the summer, you'll see them a lot, develop in these alto cumulus cloud layers and are often the result of airplanes passing through layers of clouds. This is from the 31st of January, what to do with thousands of tons of radioactive scrap metal, recycle it into consumer goods. In the Wall Street Journal, the Department of Energy is proposing to allow the sale of tons of scrap metal from government nuclear sites in an attempt to reduce waste that critics say could lead to radiation-tainted belt buckles, surgical implants, and other consumer products. The department, in a document released last month, said the recycling proposal is in line with its policy of reusing materials whenever possible. 
president of the Steel Manufacturers Association says we are concerned about what could happen in the marketplace if you have to worry about radioactive material possibly being in your eyeglass frames. Also said, why is the government trying to hurt the image of American products? So it's interesting because they go on there and talk about uh, how, you know, there's all this uh, waste and it could be used and, you know, how they don't know where to put it. Well, they're going to get paid. Uh, they're going to actually, like the fluoride where they put in the water, they get paid for dumping toxic waste in your water supply. And uh, so, you know, it's the same type concept. And KFC hit by chicken chemical food scare drop in profits after animals excessively pumped with antibiotics. So they've taken a pounding after an investigation found suppliers in China uh, had provided chickens pump full of excessive levels of antibiotics. They also own Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, which has been hit with a drop in profits in the wake of the food safety scare. It says in last month, local media reported that one of China's largest suppliers to McDonald's and KFC had bought sick chicken from farms and sold them to food outlets. Food manufacturers are fraudulently diluting high quality food with inferior quality junk. It says here as ABC reports a new scientific examination uh, here says that they discovered rising numbers of fake ingredients and in products from olive oil to spices to fruit juice. Food products are not always what they purport to be, says the senior director for food standards for the independent lab in Maryland. In a new uh, database that we released on Wednesday and uh, says here, the FDA manufacturers that the amount of food fraud they found is up by 60% this year. In addition, 70% of all ground beef was found to contain pink slime. Butchers use meat glue to create bigger cuts of beef, chicken, lamb, and fish, even though it leads to much higher levels of food poisoning. British hamburgers were found to contain horse meat and pork, and it could happen in the U.S. as well. Indeed, modern red meat is arguably not really red meat at all. So they start talking about genetically modified uh, food and stuff and all the side effects of this stuff. Uh, this trend was predictable because food manufacturers have been trying to hide food inflation in various ways. The inflation of food prices in turn has been caused by quantitative easing printed, printed in a, an attempt to hide bank fraud and then use the printed money for wild speculation by the banks has driven up food and related commodity prices. Of course, speculation, like I said, of commodities in that food. Safety group blows lid off secret virus hidden in genetically modified crops. It says uh, one thing we're not so sure about is a recent discovery of a hidden viral gene deep within genetically modified crops. So the viral gene is known as gene 6. It says what's concerning is not only that it's a rogue gene found in most prominent GMO crops and about 63% of GMO traits approved for use, but it can actually disrupt the very biological functions within living organisms. So it goes on here and it says that popular GMO crops such as Roundup Ready soybeans and this corn were found to contain the gene that induces physical mutations. Also uh, in the maize, it says it was also linked to development of mass tumors in rats. It says there's a degree of knowledge on gene 6, what we do know, uh, going by information within the report is that the gene helps to assemble virus particles, inhibits the natural defense of the cellu cellular system, produces proteins that are potentially problematic, and makes plants susceptible to bacterial pathogens. Nearly half of all U.S. farms now have super weeds, as last, year, last year's drought took a bite out of the two most prodigious U.S. crops, corn and soy. Ugh, right? But it apparently didn't slow down the spread of weeds that have developed resistance to Monsanto's herbicide Roundup used on crops engineered by Monsanto to resist it. More than 70% of all the corn, soy, and cotton grown in the U.S. is now genetically modified to withstand this uh, glyphosate. So it says here back in 2011, such weeds were already spreading fast. Monsanto's superweeds gallop through the Midwest declared the headline. So you can go in there and check it out. Links will be posted. So here's a little chart here, uh, starting in 2010 to 2012, nearly 49% of all U.S. farmer surveys said they have this glyphosate-resistant weeds on their farm in 2012, up from 34% of farmers in 2011. And it says it's spreading at a fast pace each year. Resistance is still worse in the South, but in the mid uh, South and Midwest states are catching up. Next up, we have widow of 81 starved to death after council forgot about her for nine days it did nothing when care agency was shut by police the 81 year old was discovered at home dehydrated and with faint pulse she was also suffering from kidney failure and severe bed sores when found 
She was left with, a, uh, with four daily nurse visits after Care First 24 was closed. We have Meet the Stay at Home Dude. He's the homemaker and a couple without kids. So this Finn Bolding is married, his wife has a great job, and he is the happy, unemployed, by choice homemaker in the relationship. Not that unusual, right? Says plenty stay-at-home dads exist in the world, except this individual and his wife don't have kids, and they don't plan to have them. I'm not just doing this temporarily until I find something meaningful to do. I'm actually a full-time homemaker, uh, not stay-at-home dad, but stay-at-home dude. He cleans, cooks, and mends clothes, and he likes it. Uh, we know our economy is engineered, and after the uh, wealth consolidation operation of 2008, it says here, our circumstances may change and I may be forced to reevaluate, but for now, uh, the feeling that the benefits far away the professional costs, I want to be a great homemaker supporting a fantastic spouse. Next up, new research indicates doing household chores may turn men gay from June 4, 2012. Uh, we have years of doing chores around the house, including ironing, dishwashing, uh, vacuuming, dusting could turn heterosexual men gay, according to the results of a study headed by uh, Turkey's most famous sexologist from the University of Istanbul's psychology department. It could lead to the weakening of a man's libido and sexual confidence, which uh, manifested itself as poor performance in the bedroom. The power of TV watching 20 hours a week halves sperm count, according to a new study. Men who watch more than 20 hours of television a week risk having their sperm count researchers warn a sedentary lifestyle can have a major impact on a man's ability to reproduce research found. But it says here that um, even if you exercise vigorously, excessive television watching can counteract the positive effects of physical activity. Men who watch more than 20 hours of TV a week had a sperm count 44% lower than those who had watched uh, the least had found. Volunteers who were mostly physically active doing more than 15 hours of exercise a week had a 73% higher sperm count than uh, the least physically active. However, men who did regular exercise but also watched a lot of TV recorded lower sperm counts. Married men and women far less likely to suffer heart attack study finds what you can do to re reduce your risk of a heart attack. A new study released last week in the European Journal of Preventative Cardiology found one important factor that can contribute to saving your life which is marriage. The study found that unmarried men were 58% to 66% more likely to have a heart attack, as were 60 to 65% of single women. The research suggests several potential reasons. It says here, married people may be better off financially, live healthier lives, and have more friends and social support, all of which promotes health. 3D printed human embryonic stem cells created for the first time. A new study, researchers in Edinburgh have created a cell printer that spits out living embryonic stem cells. It says a new printing method could be used to make 3D human tissues for testing new drugs, grow organs, or ultimately print cells directly inside the body. North Dakota Senate uh, passes personhood amendment, maybe on the verge of becoming the first state in the union that protects human beings from the moment of conception after the Senate passed the state's personhood amendment. So it's called uh, SCR 4009, the inalienable right to life of every human being at any stage of development must be recognized and protected. Then you have, yeah, life begins at conception, so what? Mary Elizabeth Williams says that uh, not all life is equal from January 23rd. I would put the life of a mother over the life of a fetus every single time, even if I still need to acknowledge my conviction that the fetus is indeed a life, a life worth sacrificing. So it goes on here, and it says that I never wavered for a moment in the belief that I was carrying a human inside me, and that doesn't make me one iota less uh, solidly pro-choice. So she says all life is not equal. We make decisions about life all the time, from war to death penalty to care for the terminally ill. A fetus can be a human life without having the same rights as the woman in whose body it resides. She's the boss. Pants ban is dropped, says Paris women allowed to wear trousers after two centuries. The archaic ban, though not executed, has been a pain for French women's rights activists. Obama's skeet shooting photo inspires action figure. Obama's new interior secretary nominee received Obamacare waiver for her company. So received a waiver from Obamacare requirements for outdoor clothing equipment company, REI. Seven million people will lose their insurance under Obama health care law twice the previous estimate, New York Medicaid exec pay is sickening, one raking in 2.8 million and 14 others topping a half a million. 
This is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you.